I was born in Los Angeles and I've lived there my whole life. A lot of the inspiration comes from just driving around. I always seem to be aware of the way that homeowners or small business owners can alter the facades of their home and their businesses. And at some point it becomes about it all coming together and really creating this really untraditional but beautiful environment. For what I do, cardboard seems to be the best fit. I like elevating it to a point where it does become art. Working with other people has definitely been a lot easier than I thought it would be. I feel like I tend to be very sort of controlling when I'm working on my smaller sculptures, but at some point you need help to create something of this scale. It's been really great to be able to trust somebody and sort of let go a little bit. I need to make sure that the process gets translated the same way, whether I'm working small or when I'm working large scale. It's just taking a lot more material, it's taking a lot more time, a lot more paint, and so it's basically just amplifying that process. I saw Salon of Beauty written on the wall of a actual beauty salon. My theory is that they were really just trying to translate it from literally from the Spanish to the English. Because in Spanish it would be Salon de Belleza. So literally you're translating Salon de Belleza and it becomes Salon of Beauty. But linguistically it just it it was really unique to see it that way. I don't think I ever have to let anybody know that the neighborhoods I'm referencing are neighborhoods with a, like a low socioeconomic demographic. It's definitely present within not only the colors, but the type of businesses that I tend to use a lot in my work. I do tend to present these more political or social issues in a much more lighthearted way with maybe a humor or some sort of lightness to it. And I think that gets the point across a lot more than if I'm really heavy handedly political or social about it. I basically create my own environment based on these details that I'm attracted to. Because these details aren't always present right next to each other in the real world. But when you pull them out from there and you put them in a setting where they're highly focused on, then you're really able to see them for what they are. And maybe when you're taken back out of the gallery world and into the real world, then you're able to appreciate these moments as well and you're, you become more aware of them. Thank you.